Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jules. Thanks for coming back for another weekly cross stitch and update. And uh, there's a lot to talk about today. It is, what day is it? It's late April and uh, it's a beautiful day outside and I have the rest of the day to do whatever I so choose to. And a couple more days, um, despite the, you know, all the craziness that's going on, I'm still working most days. Um, but things are good. Things are really, really good. So <sighs> got a lot of cross stitching done this week and I got some cross stitching news for you as far as me, as far as I am concerned. Um, I actually got a new pattern. Yeah, I got a new pattern and I got, it's a, of course it's a massive pattern. It's a Hade, a uh, Heaven and Earth design. So I know, I know guys, I know, but uh, I'll get to it here in a second. First, we're going to start off by showing you guys what I've been working on. Uh, we're going to start off with some, um, Definitely do some cross stitch collectibles pieces here. The uh, boy, man, it's it, being sped up by using uh, Pattern Keeper. I can't, I can't speak enough about how wonderful that program is for a full, full uh, coverage cross stitcher. It just, it just speeds up your work so much. So I got more done, and what I did was I actually went onto the next page on this one. I have a few stitches here and there left to do, but I'm actually waiting on some floss. So I went ahead and moved into the next page this past week. So this got moved down just a little bit, but it really kind of helps that cab to really pop out. So super excited about that. Eh, we're, what are we, maybe halfway down this page? Just about halfway down this, or not page, down this row, column. Um, but that's where we're at there. So much, oh, I left the birds uncovered. They may be loud through this, I'm sorry. Hey, birds? So down. Um, I did a little bit of, hold on. Okay, so I covered the birds up. They were getting a little too loud there. So, um, my stuff. Um, so let's see, where was I? Next piece. Uh, I got some more work done on Reaper, and let me just show you where I'm at. So I got this done here, and where we left off last time, I had started a little bit over here these are three pages across so it's like one page one page and then part of another page so because I don't want to really do the face first or the face early on in this cross stitch I just kind of skipped across so I make sure that I line everything up correctly and now I'm all the way over on this far page over here so I'm actually going to work on getting this part done here so I'm gonna, my next part is just basically just going all, all the way down. That'll be our next goal. But knowing how fast they stitch, I would say, yeah, there's no way I'm getting this done before the end of the year. Um, I thought I might, but I don't think I will now. You never know, but it's, that's a lot of stitching. And considering how much more stitching I'm now putting into some of these other projects, I kind of doubt it. Uh, next up is, speaking of getting more stuff done, we've got Rainy Waterloo Place. And... Let me show you where I'm at with this one. Right here. So I've almost finished this little section. The page still goes down to about here, I think. And uh, so I'm not even, I'm maybe about halfway down, almost halfway down. But I've maintained pretty decent discipline with making sure that I didn't go too far ahead. But... Yeah, I don't have very much to go there, so I'm definitely going to be going down the next row. Well, actually, look at that. I did go down that next row. So I'm going to go down the next row, too, and just start adding more stitches in. But it's coming in so nicely. Rainy water the place from Cross Stitch Collectibles. It's getting just a little bit heavy. Maybe I'm just getting a little bit more weak. That's probably what it is. And I think the final one is... Old World Map 2. Now, before I show you this one, for those longtime watchers, we have I have talked for quite a while about if I'd only use Pattern Keeper on Old World Map 2, I could just fly and get so much work done, and I would be stitching like crazy, and it would help, and then I just, I had Pattern Keeper, and I just didn't use it on Old World Map 2 until like a week and a half ago or something and in the process of less than two weeks I've gotten so much done on this page let me show you where we're at look at that 
in less than two weeks, I have gotten as far along on this page as I ended on this page. So I still need to go in and like touch everything up, but look how I'm almost done. Literally what I'm looking for is this, it's like floss that I'm missing. So isn't that, I mean, if that's not an ad for Pattern Keeper, I don't know what is. It's absolutely boggles my mind. I had this hope at one point, probably a year ago, where I said, I should have a goal of I should finish a page a week, or page a week, well, that'd be something, a page a month on Old World Map 2, and then maybe I could get this thing done in four or five years, and it, you know, wouldn't be that, wouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, and now with Pattern Keeper, that's actually, I think, in reach. I literally believe that I could get a page a month done, if not faster. The only thing holding me up is just the floss that I'm missing um, on a couple of these little areas, and I had floss on order, but I'm going to try and fill in as much as I can on both this page and this page, um, put as much effort as I can into it, and then I'm going to jump ahead to the next one and keep and just keep working, just keep making progress. I don't want the search for one tiny little stitch here or there to hold me up too much um, when I'm making such amazing progress. And I just, I, I'm just flabbergasted that that this is this part has gone so fast, and we're only theoretically this far away from the end so I think it's about right here I don't know if it's four pages or five pages left but I mean that's just inc absolutely incredible and I think that yeah I just you know I just <laughs> I I'm just flabbergasted I just I can't believe how fast it's gone so I there's still a fair bit that I need to do but like I said I'm waiting on some stitches and I really don't have a fear of moving ahead and not being able to go back and fill in a page because when you're using Pattern Keeper, it shows, it highlights what you need to do. It's so easy to see what you need to do. So it's okay if you go forward. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, I just got to keep making progress. So I, I stitched on um, this week, I think I got about 400 stitches in. I know I got, I know the one day that I worked on it, I got like 400 stitches in. And so I don't. I don't I haven't counted up like how many uh, stitches are, are on a page but I'm definitely um, going so much faster than I used to but anyway but yeah I'm gonna work on this and then I'm gonna just kind of jump don't be surprised if I start the next page this week that's how fa that's how fast we're moving now because I got I got floss on order from two or three different places and we'll see who gets here first but I'm super excited. I can't wait to finish this uh, this row and uh, be able to move on to the, the second row of this project. If we look at just how big it is, we'll need to take a, we'll need to take one of those big pictures soon where I hold it up and uh, my husband can take a picture of me holding it. So but yeah, it's going along really good guys. It's going along really good. So you can see where I kind of readjusted my, um, we actually completely renovated this, up, oh, you know what? All right, we'll talk about the stitchy board and then I'll talk about the new project. I don't want to get too distracted, but uh, I put up the projects that I'm mostly working on right now. The ones that I'm not working on, I've taken them off. This is actually, I really like this setup as far as doing a video. Um, I feel like I'm closer, but yet you can still see the, the thing. It's just easier for me, it's more comfortable for me. But this room that uh, we've set up in, uh, that I've been doing my videos from for forever is actually turned into my office this past week and we got a new desk and we put it up here I'll show you guys later on it's not really put it's not it, it's not totally put together yet but it's mostly put together and um, so we move the birds the birds are on the other side of the room which this is a small room so it's not that big of a deal but so I have an office up here that I can focus on my videos and focus on um, uh, like website stuff that I'm working on all business related stuff and then my stitching, I'm doing it all downstairs. So I'm separating all that. And it actually is working out great because when I'm downstairs now and I'm stitching, I am totally focused on stitching. And it's it's going great. It's absolutely going great. So um, so you can see the ones that I have up here are the ones that I'm really like only, the ones that I'm really focusing on or working on. But not all of them are up there. I didn't, I, I wasn't sure, I didn't think I had anything done on baseball this week, so I wasn't going to show you guys that one. The only, um, the one thing I was going to say was, I was looking at baseball. I might have stitched a little bit, I didn't bring it with me, but I actually, when I ordered baseball, 
from Cross Stitch Collectibles, and it was probably like 10 years ago when I bought that pattern. I bought the pattern, and then I lost like page one or, or something happened. I can't quite remember. I talked about it a couple years ago on a video, but I ended up reordering it for some reason. I think because I couldn't find page one and I needed it. And I, I ended up getting a slightly different version of um, the pattern. And I can't remember if it was, if there were just more rows on the page or less, but it was something that was different. And even now when I plug in, when I got the, the, the PDF file to plug into Pattern Keeper, like the pages don't quite line up with what I've done, which is fine because um, it doesn't really matter when it's all on your phone or tablet. Um, but I have had to go in and like figure out exactly like I can't just go, okay, I finished this page, boom, I finished this page. Like it doesn't it doesn't line up like that. So eventually I'll get back I'll get on the right um, path with that um, with that particular project, but, that is something that I'm not showing you right now because I'm still sort of working on it. Uh, I was going to tell you something else I forgot, but let me talk about the new uh, project. I can't believe I got a new project. I didn't print out the picture yet. I don't plan on starting it anytime soon, but I am ordering fabric. <laughs> I ordered some fabric from uh, a stitching shop. Um, link will be down below. And it's a pretty large piece of fabric. Um, I decided it, the it comes from Heaven and Earth Designs, and it's called, I want to say it's called Signing the Constitution, and it's a very famous historical painting of um, the, I want to say the Constitutional Congress that was going to sign off on the Constitution. There's George Washington standing there, and it's just the the, the style and the colors and the, the theme and everything just like just spoke to me. I'm like, I have to do this. But it's about roughly about 720 stitches by about 530 stitches. So it's a lot of stitches. It's really big. The recommended design was on 25 count. I'm not a fan of 25 count just because it's harder for me to stitch. Uh, between my eyes and my hands, it's harder for me to stitch that. So I converted it to 18. And so we're just going to do it on basic 18, like this is. This is just 18 count Ada. And so... That's just what I'm going to do. I really, I was thinking about doing it on 14 count because it's like my preferred favorite. But the amount of fabric would have been so incredible. And I think that, I think 18 count will look the best. And uh, at least, in, and it'll be, the ni it'll be a nice compromise between what I'm comfortable with and what will look really great. So it's going to be huge. Uh, Christine over at Chris, uh, Stitching Shop is working on that right now. And so I'm not sure when I'll have it. Uh... Again, it's not that big of a deal, but it'll come at some point. And then I did order a um, frame. What do they call those? I want to say it's the roll of frames. The, the big frame thing that I was showing you guys a few months ago, um, the really cool wooden frame that is like, it swivels and it's there's a tabletop version and a floor version. And I ordered the floor version. And I know it's going to take a couple months. And uh, if I had ordered it, I would have already had it. But I think that between Wonders of the World, the project, and the Signing of the Constitution project, like either one of them like scream out for this big floor frame. And I only asked for about a two foot by one foot working space. Because anything more than that, and I don't have room, and I don't, it's just gonna be too much for me to manage. And that project actually might be the only one that's done up here. Uh, I still don't want to have that frame downstairs where the dogs are going to just chew it up and I'm going to get angry because it's, it's it's not cheap. So that will be coming at some point later this year. And we'll probably throw one of these cross-stitch collectibles uh, pieces on there. I might even throw, who knows, maybe I'll throw uh, any Waterloo place and see if we can't uh, get that one to, to rush to the finish line. But uh, other than that... I think that's it for cross-stitch news for today. I think that is it. Um, so everything that I've been working for for the last year and a half has finally come true. Uh, my business uh, is doing is doing all right through the all the virus issues and whatnot, but um, we're looking for a, a to add a kennel into our business and. Um, We've been trying to get that going for quite a while. The, the 
lot that we're on, the building that we that we are in, everything is really old and has taken a lot of time and effort and money to reach a point where we could even just get approved by the town. It's taken over a year and a half to like get to this point. So usually when I've been stressed on videos, it's because of the stress of this project and the stress that the project has put on my business and my personal life and just my mind and my heart and everything. And it's finally all coming together and it's kind of crazy, but we had our, we met with town council the other night and everything went really well. We've been approved and it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous that after a year and a half that it's finally going and some people will say, you know, expanding your business or creating new business during this time is risky and I get it. I totally get it. But for where we're at and what we're going to be doing, um, I think it's going to be a really, really, really good thing for me. And I hope that what it does lead to is being able to actually move away from the day-to-day -day practice and sit back and look at the overall business, focus more on that. And that gives me more time at home to pursue other things like this channel um, and some other uh, secondary businesses that, I, that I've been working on for the last year and a half. Um, but it'll give me more stitching time, which will be great. And it'll give me more time to make videos, which is also great. And so, yeah. So if anybody's been worried that I seem like I'm not, you know, I'm not loving this as much as I used to, it wasn't the videos. It wasn't, it wasn't cross-stitching. It was, it was everything else aside of it. And I was frustrated because I wasn't getting the time to stitch that I wanted but even when I got time, I didn't feel like stitching because I don't, I can't stitch when I'm nervous. I can't stitch when I'm anxious. But you guys could probably tell the last couple of weeks I'm getting a lot of stitching done. It's because the, it, everything's finally coming together. And we got the final word on Monday. And, um, yeah, it's a huge weight being lifted off. And I feel, um, I feel really good about everything. So, <sighs> what that means for this channel is just, you know, continuing the videos, but hopefully having longer videos, more videos. Um, the blog, I, I worked really hard on the blog for a while, and then I backed off, and then I worked on it again. And I need to get back on it again now and uh, continue to work on it. This will actually be our my last partial week of work um, for quite a while um, until I change my work schedule. But... Um, with the whole viral things we've been doing like half weeks and I have the next four four and a half days off and then next week we go back on our normal schedule and we will continue to, to act responsibly and protect staff and clients and anybody we need to protect and um, and I hope you guys are staying safe out there as well I'm gonna add a little thing into the video at the end about the garden which we're finally, we're getting, kind of getting ready to almost harvest some of this lettuce that we're getting on this uh, uh, hydroponics uh, setup that we have, which is really cool. Uh, we, um, we haven't harvested anything yet, but we're getting close to needing to, so that, that is going to be awesome. Oh, and I didn't show you guys, I got a, um, I got a new, um, I got my husband a new uh, hot sauce kit. Uh, maybe I'll throw the hot sauce kit in the end too here. And I'll talk to you guys about that because we like our spicy sauces and he really does. And uh, so that might be a good thing to show you guys because I just we just got it in the mail today. But I am going to end this portion of the video because I don't really have anything else to say that I can think of. I'm not sure what we're going to do this week. Um, we can really do any project that I kind of want to going forward. Uh, it's... Um, I trying to use my husband's phone now to record the stitch with me as long as he doesn't need it because uh, I can do the stitch with me and use my phone for a pattern keeper so that would be really good because I can get a lot more done that way uh, anything else got that going on yeah I gotta get back to a few of these other projects that I haven't really been stitching much on so but uh, let's rotate some of these through and continue to see progress and I kind of need a nap. I'm a little sleepy when I got home today, so it's been kind of a crazy week, but it's good stuff now. All right, well, let's go look at some hot sauce. Hot sauce now. It's the hot sauce sampler from Viva La Picante. 
Long live the hot. Uh, but anyway, I just love this uh, this little kit that I saw on. Uh, um, it's a great little gift for anybody who loves hot stuff. Can you handle the heat of the ring? And it just has all these little bottles. And I like these little ones because using the we've gotten ones that have bigger bottles and you tend to sometimes it takes forever to go okay I'm not gonna be able to get them out right now but um, the bigger bottles and these look like they're like four ounces mm, that's not right 20 mils so that's less than an ounce wow okay um, but you tend to kind of you'll go through these a lot faster which is fine but we've got extremely hot red smoking chipotle green pepper um, to Dio Habanero, um, Smoky Bourbon, Mexican Style, Chipotle, Fiery Diablo Rojo, Mango Habanero, oh, Mango Habanero, that's my favorite, Extremely Hot Red, which, that's a duplicate, duplicate, El Guapo Orange, Jalapeno, smoke, another Smoky Bourbon, Garlic Habanero, and a Garlic Del Fuego, Garlic Del Fuego. That's going to be awesome. But these are really, really cool. So anyway, there's the hot sauce. Now for the garden.